Hello! Good to see you again on our Tome YouTube channel. This video is again about our multifunction unit MR6000 and today we will create a complete new me measurement and you will see how to perform an examination. First, after startup you will find this display and we start with creating a new patient. Therefore, you can easily go to the ID button and here you will find the interface to enter a new patient. It is up to you if you want to enter an ID or not. In this case, we will start with a number ID, just an example. And um, name, we will have a test per patient. He is a male patient and some random date of birth. After entering the patient, um, you will find this display and here in the top line, you see which examination mode is activated. With the first startup, you always get into the ref and keratometer mode. Or if you change it in the default settings, of course, you can also start up with tonopaki or topography. Um, so we start with the ref and keratometer mode. And here you also see the, the out alignment is on and also auto shot is on. Here you see ref and keratometer are taken at once. And you could also do only one of the measurements if you just activate refraction or keratometer but we will do all in one so then our patient please come in front and you see that the device already takes the measurement first it is keratometry and the refraction and thanks to the outer alignment and the outer shot you don't have to touch anything else. Okay, so now our first two steps are done. Refraction and keratometry are taken. We go to the mode change. This is this button below. And now we select the topography because the topography uses the same cone for the measurement as the refraction and keratometer does. So, and here you see that the auto shot button is deactivated. This is because the patient should blink one time before the measurement is taken to have the uh, tear film closed on the eye surface. So let's get into the focus. And now please blink one time and open. So left eye is done. We go to the right eye and get it again into the focus. You see when the device is in the focus on the blue cross, which is on the pupil. And now again, blink one time, please. And keep open. As you have seen, you can activate the measurement by touching in, onto the auto shot button or onto the examination button, which is in the display. Or another possibility would be using the measurement button on top of the joystick. Okay. So now the topography is finished and we change to the Tono and Paki mode. Tono and Paki is another cone. So the cone in front of the device is rotating and you see in the first step the pachymetry is measured and afterwards we have the tonometry. And for the tonometry it is possible to choose between a single air puff or three air puffs. Okay, so now we have all five measurements done. These are the basic measurements which we wanted to perform today. I will show you a special measurement as well. Um, this is the quick ref mode. The sense behind the quick ref mode is that it is implemented for nystagmus patients and uncooperative patients and also uh, for patients with a less um, fixation possibility. So if the eye is struggling a lot and a normal refraction would not come to a result, 
In this case, you will at least get a starting point. In the quick ref mode, the auto shot button is not available because you have to activate the measurement by yourself. Therefore, you can use the measurement button, which is in the display or the joystick button. So now our patient will pretend to be uncooperative and we will start the measurement. First of all, we have to go into the focus, so touch a little bit in the display so you will see the blue um, cross. Now we are in the focus and start the measurement. Okay, so we change to the right eye and here is the same, get into the focus. So now we start the measurement. Okay, and you see we have some errors in these measurements, but at least we have a result. And so we have a starting point for the next steps in our examination. Okay, so all measurements are done. We can go into the analysis. Therefore, just type here on the analyzing button. I show you now the normal refraction values and also the keratometer values. You can easily type into the um, number of measurements. And in the last row, you see the reliability of the measurement. In this case, it is zero and zero is the best reliability. Worse would be number nine. And of course, an E would be an error message. Okay. Same is with the keratometry. And here you see the tonometry. We have these three measurements. And in the bottom line, you see the corrected IOP value, which takes the central cornea thickness into account. Now we go on in the analysis with the topography. So in the first screen of the topography, you can see the right eye and the left eye at the same time. And here you have the possibility to choose between the map types, for example, axial or instantaneous. And here is also the possibility to have different color scales, uh, which you can adjust as you prefer it. The next map is a single map where you can see either the left eye or the right eye in a bigger screen this time. And then we have also the possibility to compare different map types on the same eye. So this is the right eye and we have one time the Excel map and one time instantaneous. And last but not least, we have the possibility to show a Fourier analysis. In the Fourier analysis, you can see the original map, the spherical equivalent, the regular astigmatism and asymmetry, and also higher order irregularities. Any abnormalities would be highlighted in the chart in yellow or red color. In this case, it is all green, so it's a, it is supposed to be everything fine. You have also the possibility to measure the pupil size and the diameter of the cornea. Therefore, um, just type into the display and adjust the circuits and bars to the size you need. So here we adjust the pupil size. Afterwards, type on the bar and put it in a little bit and onto the edge of the cornea. On the left side, it is already correct. So we go to the other eye and Again, select the bar and put it to the edge of the cornea here as well. A little bit more in. And same with the circle of the pupil size. So, okay. So now you have seen all the analyzing functions. And to sum up, today, we have performed a complete measurement of the five basic measurements, refraction, keratometry, tonometry, parchimetry, and topography. And you have seen how easy it works and how nice the workflow is with the auto shot and auto alignment. And we are happy to see you in our next video. Bye.